Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how we turned this into this. The first and most important step of plastic dipping your car is to make sure that there is no dirt on it at all. Clearly, I've never used a self-service car wash, and Ken has, but it worked out really well. After the good scrub, all it needed was a good rinse before we could get it dry. After we washed our van, we decided to hand dry it to make sure that every little speck of dirt was off so that when we went to Plasti Dip, it doesn't peel or bubble at those areas. After the van was completely dry, we spent a night taping, taping, and more taping every single thing on the van that wasn't going to be covered with Plasti Dip so that way when we were done painting we could just pull it off and we would have clean areas instead of trying to peel the areas that did not need Plasti Dip on them. The front of the van was probably the easiest to cover because we just used a large piece of plastic and taped it on. We also decided that it would be easier to just remove the grill instead of trying to figure out a way to tape around it. If you are looking at Plasti Dipping your car, I would highly recommend getting the Pro Kit, which is what we did. It comes with every single thing that you will need to Plasti Dip your car. It comes with the soap, which we ended up going to the car wash, but we could have used the soap that came in the kit. It comes with the Plasti Dip tape, the paint sprayer, the compressor for the paint sprayer, which you can continue to use in future projects. And it comes with microfiber cloths and every single thing that you need. So if you're looking to do this, I think this is the way to go. I will link the Plasti Dip Pro Kit in the description below. And then what we did is we took out the grill and we just stuffed it with paper so that way nothing gets in there. And we did just a drape across the front of the like bottom area. And then we covered the wheels with plastic and then shoved paper in there. And we taped off our panels and the windows. We did the side windows before we came out and the mirrors, we basically take most of it besides the wheels and the, sheet, the windshield. And we taped our backup camera off um, inside before we came out. We took off a little emblem in the back. We did a lot of taping inside because you also have to wash it the night before and it's supposed to dry because you don't want it to be wet when you start to Plasti Dip. And so to do that we had to leave it inside because we didn't want the outside dirt getting back on it. And then we are going to wipe it down with this special cleaner and make sure there's nothing on it again. And then we will start to paint. So what you see here is us mixing the Plasti Dip before you start to put it into the paint sprayer. And then we realized that it could be a very messy process and we decided to put plastic down on our truck so we did not get it everywhere. I gotta filter it. Filter it, not all the way. I'm gonna come out here. Can you hold that? Mm hmm. I think it's about good thing. Why did we filter it again? So, the, whatever. The, the chunks can go in. What kind of kit did we get? We got the Pro Kit? Extra large Pro Kit. Extra large Pro Kit. 
crouch for bugs, okay? There's a lot of bugs. So I apparently forgot to record us meticulously cleaning the van. It You didn't really miss much, but we had to go over the entire van twice with this special cleaner and microfiber cloth just to make sure every little speck of dirt is removed from the van, otherwise the Plasti Dip will not stick. When we were researching Plasti Dipping our van, we thought that using scaffolding that we had available to us would be easiest to get on top of our van. However, we found out it wasn't available to use. So then we decided we were going to use a forklift to lift us up and stand on a pallet to paint on top. However, we got the forklift stuck actually on the other side of the van where you can't see it. So then we had to just improvise and we used ladders and Ken got on top of the van with no shoes on and painted what he could and then got onto the ladder that you'll see here and just sprays from the ladder and it worked out just fine. So for the sides, we did the same thing as the roof. We started at the top and sprayed across, overlapping 50-50 from the last spray. And you can see it's not coating completely, which is okay because this is just the pre-coat. It's actually one of six layers that we will be spraying on the van before it's completely done. A pro tip is to make sure you release the trigger at the end of each swipe. <laughs> and there's the forklift that we got stuck. So the reason we were spraying our van in this spot is because it's the shadiest area that we could find. You're not supposed to spray your car or van in an area that's very sunny because it will cause the plastic dip to dry too quickly and it won't adhere to the previous layer as well as it should. We also chose this spot because we had an outlet available to us in the brown building to the right on the screen and that was important because we needed it to plug in the compressor to use the spray gun for the Plasti Dip. So while we were Plasti Dipping the sides of the van, the wind was blowing stuff and dirt back on top of the roof. So I had to get on there and knock those things off so Ken could get up and re-plasti dip the top with our second layer. Alright, one coat done. Well, base coat done, right? Yeah. So we have three more coats of the top color. Oh, too bad. No. I think we're getting the hang of it. Pretty much starting at the top, working our way down. Yep, start with the roof. Ken was just climbing on the roof with his socks. Sprays that, and then we use the ladders to start at the top and work our way down in panels. Nice, you can't see any black right now, so that's good. We still got three more coats. So if you are unfamiliar with Plasti Dipping, the point of Plasti Dipping your car is to be able to remove it at some point. It should last up to about two years, but if we wanted to take the paint off, all you'd have to do is start peeling in an area and the whole thing should come off and peel off pretty easily. Now the downside to that is when we started to remove the tape, if the Plasti Dip was on the tape, it was starting to peel and it would peel up what we, what we want to stay on the van. So 
what we had to do, um, it's called Peeling When Wet, and if you watch the creators of Dip Your Car, they have a video I will link below that we watched to know how to do this. We knew that there were some areas that we'd have to peel when wet, and we thought once we sprayed the van, if we just peeled it right away, that would be peeled when wet. That's not entirely true, because it dried enough that it was causing it to peel where we didn't want it to. So what we had to do was, once we realized it was peeling up, we had to retape and respray. so that did two things. It put paint back where we wanted it on the van, and also allowed it to be wet, so then when we peeled it again, it didn't peel up. This was by far the most frustrating and irritating part of Plasti Dipping because after we thought we were done, we had to keep going back and respraying and repeeling and retaping and respraying and repeeling, and it was very difficult, especially because we were running out of daylight. The main reason we chose to Plasti Dip is because it was more cost effective, it was a lot cheaper, we could do it ourselves, and if we want to change the color in a few years, we can. Now, for the big reveal, we went from this to this. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to continue to see our van build, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and we hope to see you guys all soon. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will be installing our roof rack and our fan.